Alrighty, here's my latest purchase. It'll be kind of hard to see here. This is the Warbonnet Blackbird XLC. And this configuration is with the winter cover. And all of that is can be replaced with a, a screen cover that, that goes on it. Allows for tremendous ventilation. Last night it got down to uh, probably 38, 39 degrees. Got up this morning and had no condensation in there. I'm sure when it starts getting colder we'll have some condensation, but uh, last night I didn't have any. You can see my DIY poncho liner under quilt that I made and let's get back over here because it's going to be cool you can see where I've got my down safety pinned into the center of the poncho liner so to hold it steady in the center because that is actually the under quilt that I got from Dave for my bridge hammock Probably one of the best selling points of this other than the fact that you can just lay almost perfectly flat. In fact, I think I lay flatter in this than I do in the bridge is the fact that it has a foot box, takes all that ankle pressure off, all that uh, calf pressure off. It's, it's tremendous. Uh, it's a perfect side sleeping hammock. Also, I've never been able to sleep on my back and I can fall asleep in this thing on my back with zero problem the biggest selling point like I was evading to is probably gonna be hard to see is this shelf which comes over you can see it right there I've got quite a bit of weight in that it's, it's amazing it gives you a place to store stuff uh, easy access to it in the middle of the night. You don't have to get in and out. Um, Brandon's outdone himself on this one. I've, it's also allowed me to go back to my old friend, the Superfly, which is, in my opinion, one of the best tarps made, if not the best tarp made. And, uh, of course, I've got that video on my channel that uh, explains how it works as well. Some of the benefits of it. I've got this in semi-porch mode tonight. So, as you can see, Warbonnet has uh, hit the nail on the head again. <laughs>